game's over. Put back the cyborg. Yes, that's him. I did some tinkering in the toy shop. <laughs> he makes a much better mecha than an action figure. Sorry about this, Batman. Oh, another collectible. You can thank me later. I've got a piggy bank to fill. <laughs> piggy bank. out your batteries, Toy Man. So I've got good news and bad news. Good news, I just added a bunch of new action figures to my very important toy collection. And the bad news? There's a slight chance that Toy Man got his hands on them and turned them into weapons. And by slight, I mean definite. Justice League, come out and play! How many dolls do you have? Uh, they're called Bot Bots, and I've been collecting them since I was a kid, so... <laughs> Take them out before they do any more damage. What? You can't blow these up! They're 1985 Generation 1 Bot Bots! No! Those are Generation 4! The first ones with articulating limbs! my die-cast metal Generation 6 bot bots! So what are we supposed to do? Gently put them back in the boxes! Too late, Tin Man! They lose value every second they're out of the original packaging! <laughs> no! Now I think you'll find my next... Wait, is that the Japanese version of the G6 die-cast bot bot? Yeah, I got it at the convention. I didn't know they made it. I mean, <clears throat> these aren't the only toys that like to play rough. I rigged my newest plaything with explosives powerful enough to take out your watchtower. Stand down or I push the button. No, no, you won't. You can't. Because that is a G3 International 1982 bot bot, one of only five in existence and in mint condition. No true toy lover would ever harm it. You're so right. The stencil detailing, the axle variation. How could I destroy perfection? I also had the place in. Get out! So, do we arrest him now? I'm just gonna leave and pretend this never happened. Are those G4 articulated limbs? <gasps> Actually, yes, they are. That's a very good eye. but now it's time you went back to your cell on Stryker Island. You're funny, Superman, but I think it's time we had a little heart to heart. <laughs> What's the matter, Superman? You're looking pretty green right now. <laughs> Don't worry, Superman, I got this! Quick, Ronald, use your powers to transmute his green kryptonite power source into lead. Oh, way ahead of you, prop. <laughs> Just turned it into anger-inducing red kryptonite? Accident! Sorry about that, everybody! I meant to do this! Huh? Where am I? Uh, who am I? Ow! 
Why is he punching me? Oh, you meant to turn it into amnesia-causing gold kryptonite. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't totally remember the chemical composition of green kryptonite, and if I don't know it, I can't transmute it. We went over it this morning. In my defense, that lecture was very boring and very long. Now it's personality splitting black kryptonite. <laughs> Maybe this time? I can work with this. That's it, I remember! You remember the chemical formula? No, no, I remember where I wrote it down. Okay, I see. Got it! Ah! Great work, Firestorm. Just one last thing. Don't tell Batman about this. Oh, are you kidding me? I would never do that. Send. Wait, I'm sorry, what'd you just say? Wow, that was fast. Uh, Gotham Conservatory, please. Joker? What's the big idea? <laughs> Buckle up, movie star. It's going to be a bumpy ride! <laughs> as soon as they realize you've killed the famous actor Mark Hamill, <laughs> you're a big star. The studios will pay plenty of Simoleons to get you back. Oh, <laughs> you bet they will. You're my favorite actor. I loved in that 70s classic about a young lad who fights impossible odds to fulfill his destiny. What was that called? Oh, yeah. Corvette Summer. Ah, the fuzz. But never fear, we shall persevere. Quick, turn right here, you mirthless mime. Watch your tomb, you witless wannabe. I didn't say anything, you paranoid prankster. I turn left here while you're at it. Oh, this street is even worse. Don't you directionalist don't. I didn't tell you to turn. Did you see my mouth move? That's just the sort of corny trick that keeps you in the villain Bush League. Bush League? Yeah. You want to make something of it? Maybe I do. Oh, oh. <laughs> That was a pretty neat trick. Getting them to drive onto the grass where you knew I'd be able to take care of things. But how? You were so busy thinking of Mark Hamill as a celebrity, you forgot that he's also a talented voice actor. What's a voice actor? How'd she find out? She's a reporter. Instinct. Or your terrible disguise. I mean, it's just glasses. I can still drop you. Why do you have broad shoulders? Sure you don't want me to snazz up the wardrobe a little? Just stick to the plan. Hello. Hi there. I'm Clark Kent. The one and only. Still trying to hide the truth, huh, Smallville? Come on. I got questions for you. Seriously, ask me anything. Wait, why are we here? We're here because you're... Superman. Lois! You really ought to be more careful, Miss Lane. You're not him. He's not you. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah, big guy. That's red sun radiation. Makes you just like them. Ordinary. What do you want, Luthor? Your little puff piece on the Man of Steel said some things about me. And you know, I don't want to toss around the word libel, but I want a retraction. All right, Luthor. <laughs> and now that I think about it, offing Superman's not a bad idea either. <laughs> Red Sun radiation did a number on me. You gotta take over. This looks like a job for Superman! That's not what I sound like. Uh, Lex, so, uh, Mr. Luthor, sir. Luthor! <laughs> now, for some Justice League justice! Superman enough for you? <laughs> and 
This is why I'm the greatest criminal mind of... Yes, great plan. You distract him, I find the off switch. What a team. Right, Superman? Right on time. I'm ready for watchtower duty and raring to go. That's right, Plastic Man is on the job. Good night, Bats. Good night, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy? You're supposed to be down in lockup. There's a change of plans, Rubber Man. Rubber Man? I, I'm Plastic Man. Rubber Man would be ridiculous. My mindless servant, Batman, has not only freed me, but has graciously offered to drive me back to the city. That doesn't sound like Batman. My new mind-controlling spores helped convince him, as they will you. Oh, no, you don't. I get hay fever. <laughs> You're on an island. There's no way to escape. Look again, Eraserhead. And I thought seaweed was only good for sushi. <laughs> Looks like we got a tailgater, darling. Handle it. Damn! Sorry, Batman, but I guess it's sometimes hit or miss. I'll take care of this little annoyance, Bat Boy. Any last words, Stretch? Yep. You're in the splash zone. <gasps> Did the water make your hair limp and lifeless? I think the wet look suits you.